Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. You may be seated. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. don't fight your battle. Don't fight your Let God fight your battle. Fight your battle. Say, don't fight your battle. Don't fight. Let God Almighty fight your battle. Fight your battle. Yes. You cannot fight your battle. Because you are a human being. You are weak. You are not strong enough. This is why you see, when you go for war, as a soldier, you are 20, you are 50. Even if you are going to win that war, you come back three or four. Why? Because we are human beings. It is only Jesus who can go to the battle. He will fight the battle, win the battle, defeat the enemy, and come back. So let God Almighty be the one to fight your battle. Are you there? That cage, that prison, where you are, you will not get out, out of that cage by yourself. It is Jesus who can do that. Can you allow him to fight your battle? Eh? I can't hear you. Can you allow Jesus to fight your battle? Yes. If you can do that, I can assure you that you are a victor, not a victim. Yes. If you allow Jesus to fight your battle. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 12. This is the life of the apostles. They were human beings like you and me. They face their own challenges at their own time. We too, we are facing our own challenges at our own time. Now let's go to verse 6. The night before Elod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the guard stood at the entrance. Take note of this. I'll be very brief, and I, I hope I, I will. The night before Elod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between the two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the guard stood at the entrance. He was arrested and was chained and was sleeping in between two, the, the soldiers, I mean the two soldiers. Apart from those two soldiers, there were another security guard standing at the entrance. Simply means even if Peter were to be like a, sneaked out of that two soldiers, he will meet the other one on the entrance. Have you seen the situation? Come on, I'm talking to you. Have you seen the situation? You are sleeping, you know, in between the commandos. Apart from that, another one is standing there with a gun. If you try to be, you know, play smart, you can learn away from these two because they are snarling, but that one there who is standing, he will knock you down. Listen to what God, you know, can do if you allow him to fight your battle. This is verse 7. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off. Oh, 
Oh, are you here in this message? He was sleeping in between the two soldiers. The Bible says that suddenly the angel appeared and tapped him. Peter, wake up. And immediately the man, you know, he, he waked up. The chains were fell off. Where are the two soldiers? Where are the two soldiers? Because at least one of the chains should fall on maybe on the other one or maybe this side. And these people were trained to, to do what? Ah, you are not yelling me. You know a soldier. Maybe there are one or two soldiers inside the church. You know your training. You know what you are capable of doing as a soldier. But God can play you smart. They were sleeping there. The angel appeared. Don't forget that the light was what? In that cell. Peter got up. Listen to this before I, I start to know uh, jumping because I feel like it, 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 it's like it, it's me they are releasing from that, you know, a, a prison. Are you there? An angel of the Lord appeared and the light shone in the cell. He strike Peter on the side. Peter got up and he said, I mean, and the, the chains were fell off. Now let's go to verse 8. Then the angel said to him, put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your, your cloak around and follow me. Ah, ah, ah. The angel told him, this is an angel. Peter was, if you, 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 you get there, if you follow this journey, you discover that Peter was like, am I, it's like, to him it was like a vision. And yet it was a, a real life. Where you are feeling like you are sleeping, but you are, you know, you are walking physically. Because the presence of God, you know, took over everything. He got up, he followed the angel. That is inside the prison. Where you sleep in, you know, a, here is a soldier, another soldier, the other one is standing there. You cannot even think of, you know, sneaking out of that prison. Tell your neighbor once again. Say, don't fight your battle. Let God fight your battle. Say, say it again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Peter did not panic. I can't see any of his word from his mouth while sleeping there before an angel appeared where he was complaining to say, but why, Lord? Am I, am I not your, your apostle? Why have you done this? Why did you allow these things to happen to me? Because when you are complaining, you are reporting your case to your enemy. But if you surrender all to him and say, Father, if it is your will, let it be. If it means me to die in this condition, glory be to God Almighty. He will rise to defend your case. He will do what? He will rise to defend your case. Let me finish this one so that you get the point. Let's go to verse 9. Peter followed him out of the prison. But he had no idea what the angel was doing. Was he really happening? He thought he was seeing a vision. Oh, there you go. To him it's like he has seen what? And yet it was happening. Because... Is it possible that you are in between the two soldiers and then someone just come in and say, let's go? The soldier will follow you to say, where are you going? You two, you'll be arrested. You two, you'll be charged again for escapee. This is why Peter was thinking like, am I seeing a vision? This is a vision. I think that's what he thought. This is what? And yet, it was happening in the flesh. He was transformed by the presence of an angel so that he could not think like a human being 
but like a spirit. Even his, you know, movement was not like a human being. He was moving like an angel. Everything changed immediately an angel appeared to him. He got out of that prison. Let's go. We finish this one. Let's go. Where are we? Ten. They passed the first and the second guards and came to the iron gates leading to the city. It opened for them by itself. Are you there? They passed the first and the second guards and came to the iron gates leading to the city. It opened for them by itself. And they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. After finishing, I mean passing all these places where, you know, there were soldiers, where the gates were to be opened on each own, the angel said, I have done my job. You are out of the prison. I'm going now. He left him. He did what? He left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without doubt that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from Elod. Are you there? If you allow him to fight your battle, Jesus can fight a witch. Jesus can fight ancestral. Jesus can fight a criminal. Jesus can fight cancer. Jesus can fight all the, if, including your poverty, your limitation. If you say, Father, if it is your will, let me be like this. Jehovah Shammah will rise from his throne. He cannot allow you to be defeated. No, because glory and honor belongs to him. They tapped him. Today, the angel will appear to you and tap you and get you out of that prison of poverty. He will tap you and say, out of the ancestral, out of this shrine, out of sickness. Before you know it, you are okay. I heard my brother was saying, I am a perfect man. Who can do that? God. They tapped him. Soldiers were sleeping. If you go to Acts 5, again you discover that the same thing happened to the apostles. That is 19. Or you start from 18. The same thing happened. Because of time, let me leave you here. I, I believe that next week I'll come back with the same message. Are you there? I'll come back by the grace of God with the same what? Message. This message will open your world. If you are barren, the angel will tap your tubes to say, be opened. Anything that are not function, when an angel appeared to you, you receive a new life. John 6, verse 3. The Bible says that what gives life is the spirit. This flesh counts for what? Nothing. Peter was there lifeless, lying down in fear. But the spirit of God appeared. He became a man and defeated the soldier. If it was the flesh, Peter would not leave the soldier. But the spirit of God came. As an angel, Peter walked away from that prison majestically. He even passed through the guard who was standing. This is why don't trust your security guard. A witch who passed a security guard armed with uh, AK-49. A witch who just said, my friend, get out. We, are, we want to kill your master. They will enter your bedroom. Your guard is outside. Ready to shoot you. Shoot a witch. In the morning, you hear that your boss is having stroke. Who are you protecting? 
It is only Jesus who can protect you. Jesus, him alone, can protect you. Don't trust with what you have put there. Electrical fence, alarm, camera. Can a witch be scared with camera? Can your ancestral demon be scared with your, your electrical fence? In fact, they will use that one to climb your offense. And to say, okay, we are going to punish you for you to put these things here. Did your father put electrical fence where he was worshipping us? Did your father put the security guard when he was eating our, our meat, our fish? Eh? Why have you done this? We'll give you triple problems. They will enter your house. You are sleeping. Ah, ah, snoring. Thinking there is someone protecting me. What about in your spiritual life? Who is protecting you? Who is there for you? Who will defend your case? Who can remove you from that, you know, enemy den? It's not an easy thing, people of God. Where you are being guarded by health, you know, security. And you find yourself outside. You are even walking freely. You pass through where someone is standing. Peter became a spirit for him not to be seen by that man. Ngandenda Nalesa. Even if you are one million witches and wizards, you are equal to zero. You are equal to what? Stop complaining about your battle. Allow God to fight your battle. He knows how to defeat your enemy. Go and ask Shedrick, Meshach and Abednego. Go and ask Daniel. He will give you proper answer. Don't trust the number of people who are sleeping with you, standing with you, supporting you. Trust only Jesus. He's Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. was asking his people I can see four people how many people did you throw in that furnace they said three but I see another one he was shocked for the first time in the history of his life to see human beings walking inside what fire he said, Shedrick, Meshach, and Ab the one who made you know fire to become water is the angel of God. An angel will appear to your life. I'm telling you. Remember what happened to Zachariah? Zachariah was barren for so many years. The Bible says that when he entered the church, he saw an angel at the right side of the altar. And he was, you know, he trembled and then the angel said, no, do not be afraid. Your wife, ah, an old woman became what? At the old age. Why are you doubting this God? Because of that pain. Cancer is just a name. All the problems that we are facing, they are just names. The Bible says at the mention of the name Jesus, every new must bow. You see an angel in your bedroom. You see it in your life. 
you sit in your business in the name of Jesus. You sit in your family. I say you sit in your family. Are you there? Ah, I am somewhere now. I don't know if you are there. I see a problem solver. I see a man who doesn't know how to fail. The man Jesus working on my case, working on your case to change the face of your family. He appeared to you and you appeared to you again. In Jesus' name. It was not easy for the disciples. But Jesus made it what? Wake up. Witches and wizards must sleep until you succeed in your life. God is not a man. No. He is not a man who can fail you. Your fellow human beings can fail you. But God cannot fail you. Even where no one can reach you, he will send his angels. He will send his angels. May you be the one to receive this angel. May you be the one to receive this angel. May you be the one to receive this angel. In Jesus' name. Amen. When an angel appeared to you, he will remove barrenness. He will remove failure. He will remove rejection. He will remove disappointment. He will remove stagnation. May you be the one. I say, may you be the one. May you be the one. Let the angel of God pay you a visit. Let the power of God be seen in your life. I'm telling you. Peter became an apostle. Not because his father was a very powerful man. Because the spirit of God was upon his life. See an angel in your life. See it. 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 See it in your life. I say see it. See it. Do you know the reason of this? The impossible things must be possible because the angel of God will appear to your life. May you be the one. May you be the one. May you be the one. In Jesus name. I'm telling you. If your heart is like that, they are, they are being assigned to visit you. Look at the situation of Peter. Peter knew that he, this is the end of me. But God was saying this is the beginning of your journey. Peter was thinking that I think because before now, when you, you know you are arrested by the Jewish council, consider yourself dead. That was Peter's mind. But God said, this is the beginning of your journey. This is the beginning of your success. This is the beginning of your journey. This is the beginning of your success. May you have this favor in the name of Jesus. May you have this favor in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of God be assigned to your life. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Lord.